what's going on? It's your boy GP the Beast. This is Uncut No Smut TV. You know, I'm talking about H A AKA Man of Country Beast. So look, you know what I'm talking about? Today, man, um, you know, I'm gonna give y'all some game, right? I know I be telling a lot of stories and everything, you know, <clears throat> and I know y'all like the stories and everything, but you know, you really got to, you know what I'm saying, latch on to this game because it don't get no better than this right here. You got a dude like me that came out of prison. I ain't really had nothing. You feel me? You know, I was either going to win or I was going to lose. You know what I'm talking about? You know, I was, I'm hella old. I got felonies. You know, I'm like felony, 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 felony. On the last case alone, I probably had nine nine felonies. So, you know, I'm felonied out the game, so I can never get a job. It's too late. I ain't going to never be able to work. You know what I mean? In reality, I really should be feeling like the worst dude in the world. You know what I'm talking about? Shoot, I, be, I should be feeling like, shoot, I probably should uh, commit suicide or something. You know, I, like I ain't got nothing to live for. You know, I ain't got no woman. You know what I'm talking about? Everybody left me. You know what I mean? All my partners is dead when I come home. The ones that's alive, they doing their thing. You know what I'm talking about? Ain't nobody, you know what I'm saying, said, hey, GP, you know what I'm saying? Here go 1,000. Hey, GP, here go 500. Hey, GP, I ain't got a lot, man, but here goes something. You know what I'm talking about? You know, I'm, I ain't nobody doing all that. You know, niggas ain't doing all that. You know what I mean? The one, you know, it, it just, that ain't it. So the, the bottom line is, we not even tripping on that. It ain't about the money. It ain't about the, the alley-oop. It ain't about the handout. It ain't about that. It's about your mindset. Now, you know what I'm saying? That, that, that could have made me upset. That could have had, that could have been something I could have focused on. Like, you know what? You know what I'm saying? Niggas, I've been out here all this time getting money. Ain't nobody looking out. You know what I'm saying? I could have been like F them. You know what I'm talking about? But how I'm going to be mad about somebody else's money? That don't really make no sense, right? Not to me. Because I don't want you to be bad about mine. Because just because I ain't got none don't mean I ain't going to get none. See, I know how to go get this money. I've been doing that all my life. So therefore, I just had to figure out how to get it and keep it. You know, my problem was I keep losing it. I keep getting it and then I lose it. You know what I'm saying? I get out of jail and pass everybody up. You know what I'm saying? Most of them, you know what I mean? In one year, I'm already up to 100K, 200K. Not in count the cars and the houses and the furniture and the jewelry and the clothes and everything else I done spent, you know what I'm saying, along the way. But you know, it's a whole new world now. You know what I'm saying? I came on to a whole new world. And I like this world. This world was actually the kind of world that I needed. You know what I'm saying? I came home with, to technology. I came home to the internet. You know what I'm saying? I came home to where I can be visible, but not be physically there in the presence. You know what I'm talking about? Just like, you know, when I was creating that money in prison on my bunk, you know, I might've been making sales in uh, St. Louis, in uh, Alaska, in Connecticut, you know what I'm saying, in China. But I wasn't there physically. I was on my rack. You feel me? Because the internet, you know what I'm saying, allowed me to be able to do all that. The internet allowed me to be able to make money right on my bunk in prison. You know what I mean? And I did that. I created an income in prison where I was making $4,000 a month. I still got all the little checks. I kept that shit. You know what I'm talking about? Because it was proof. It was proof of my ability to be able to turn nothing into something. You feel me? First, it was just a thought. It's always just a thought. It always happens with a thought. But then, you know, you got to vision that thought. Once you sit, once you think of it, visualize it. Can you see it in your brain? Can you see it? Can, can it turn into a reality? And if it can, if you if you can see it, then you, you should act on it. You know what I mean? The difference between me and majority of the people that I know is when I get thoughts, 
I act on them. I don't just say, oh, that's a good ass thought. And then don't ever do nothing about it. I'll be like, oh, that's a good thought. I'm on it right now. I'm on it right now. This is one of the key things to success is to act immediately on the thought. If not, you human, you're going to forget about the thought. Another thought is going to come. A thought is going to replace a thought. You, your thoughts is the most powerful thing you got. So you have to be able to utilize them and act on them and turn them into a reality. See, like this book, Make Your Tomorrows Better Than Your Yesterdays. This book was just a thought. And then I started writing. And I kept writing. Before you know it, I had a tablet full. Then I had two tablets. And then I put them all together and I said, oh, that's a book. But guess what? It wasn't typed up yet. It wasn't edited. I needed an editor. But the point is, at first it was a thought. And then I turned it into a reality. I made it tangible. This You can do this with anything. Once you learn that you can do this, you can do this with anything. You can think of it and turn it into a reality. Now, this show right here, I wanted to talk about my credit. Now, credit, man, is real important, man. I came out of jail and my credit score, it was a uh, 666. Now, when I was in jail, I had that thing up to uh, 785. And uh, you know what I'm saying? But it, 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 it ended up going down. Me and my son got the same name. Things had, had got complicated. And it ended up going down to 666. So I said, OK. But guess where it's at now? Last time I checked, it was at 798. It was two points away from 800. And I'm going to show it to you. You know what I'm saying? Don't take my word for you. I'm going to show you these credit scores. You know what I'm talking about? See, because I learned how to uh, do credit. I learned how to do credit to the point where I wrote my own book. You know what I'm saying? I wrote my own book because uh, the credit game is everything to me. And I wanted y'all to know about the credit game. If you slipping on the credit game, you are tripping. You need to get your name right. You need to go get this book right here. You know what I'm talking about that you see on the screen? And you need to read it page by page. It's going to teach you, man, how to get your game right. And I'm going to tell you what I did. Of course, I followed the book, but I know the book because I wrote the book. So I didn't really have to follow the book. All I had to do was act on my thoughts. And my thoughts told me, Go get you a safe credit union card. This is a secured credit card. A secured credit card means you put $1,000 on the card. You have bad credit. Nobody's fucking with you. I didn't have bad credit. I had no history of credit because all my history got erased because I've been gone too long. Even though I once had good credit when I fell. When I first fell, I had a 750 score. Now I'm past that. Past it. Fast. You know what I'm talking about? Because now I'm more serious about life. You know what I'm talking about? But you go get this safe credit union card, and you don't got to put a thousand. I put a thousand, but you probably could, should put a thousand if you got a thousand. It's your money, it's still going to be there. What I'm trying to tell you is you, if you put the thousand on the secure credit card, that means you got a thousand dollars worth of credit to spend. Now, just because you got $1,000 worth of credit to spend, that don't mean run out there and buy $1,000 worth of stuff. It's not free money. See, that's why everybody is in debt right now, because when you get a credit card, you're like, oh, I got a credit card. I got a credit card. I'm about to go kick it. No, that's not what you do. Listen, it's rules to it. If you got $1,000, you should never spend more than 30% of what's in that account. Meaning, if you got a thousand, don't spend more than 300. Don't go to 50 percent, don't spend 500, and damn sure don't go to 700 and, and, and be 30 percent in the negative. Don't do all that either. Don't spend 70 percent. Listen, the bottom line is you're supposed to spend more, no more than 30 percent, but I don't suggest that. This is what I suggest. This is what I did. 
You put the thousand dollars on the credit card, safe credit union card. They're gonna give you a card that day. You got a thousand dollars worth of credit. Listen, you spend a hundred dollars on that thing every month, and five days before it's due, or two days, you come and pay the hundred dollars. Now they're gonna tell you, oh, all you gotta pay is seven dollars. Yeah, that's how it go. Now nah, we paying off the debts every time. We spending a hundred, we paying it off. We spending a hundred, we paying it off. And my stuff started rising. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now, that ain't the only thing now. I also came out and went and bought a vehicle. You know what I'm saying? I got that on. I talked up on it. You probably ain't going to believe it. I didn't put a down payment on it. I talked up on it. I told him it was COVID. You know what I'm saying? I haven't been trusting banks. I seen banks going crashing. I took all my money out the bank. I'm self-employed. But I got uh stubs, bank stubs, I got the paperwork, I got uh, uh statements, whatever you want to see, I got it. They say you got it. I said, I got it. I got the best credit in the world because I don't owe nobody. They said, but now nah, you don't even have a 700 credit score. Yeah, but I don't owe nobody. You're gonna be the only person I owe because I came out of prison <coughs> <coughs> with no debts. Not on nobody is very important, like right now. I don't owe nobody. Now that car, I had that car and it was $30,000, $36,000 car. I bought a Kia, uh, Kia Stinger. And I talked up on it. And when they finally realized that I didn't have the paperwork, it was too late. I didn't put a down payment. I had to like, I was the main thing. And I ended up with the car. Now the payments was high. Payments were $689 a month. And that's high. But I didn't put no money down. So of course it's an upside down backwards loan. But I got the car. And I made the payments every month for 14 months in a row, on time, never late. I'm doing that with the car and I'm doing that with the credit card. What I'm doing is building some kind of history because when you're gone 10 years, you don't got no history. So I'm building history right now. I'm building history with the credit bureau. So I'm building that up and I freeze my credit. You do not want increase on your credit report. Increase is when you go inquire about, okay, let me check that car out. Yeah, you can check my credit. You can check my credit. No, don't let people check your credit. They don't care about you. They will abuse your credit. You try to go buy a car, they'll try to run your stuff 20 times. Although they do got a new law now that if you do um, go apply for a car, they'll let you run it up for 30 days and all that account is one. But still, you don't want that on your record. It looks bad. It looks like you're just shopping everywhere. You don't want it. Increase ain't cool. So you try to get rid of your increase, but you freeze your credit. Now, I don't care if your credit score is, is 640, 5, 540. Freeze it right now. That's the first thing you do. Freeze it. You go get you an, uh, an, experience, an experience account and you freeze it and you open up that account and that's so and that's how you're going to keep up with your bank that's how you're going to keep up with your credit score and you freeze it so nobody else can ever check it for right now until you decide which ain't going to be for a while i left mine frozen the whole time the credit people is getting at me they want to give me loans they want to give me loans because i didn't built it up but my stuff is frozen you know what i'm talking about because i'm trying to build it up now i got everything I got everything I need. I could go get anything I want off the lot. I can go get a house. I could go get whatever I want. The only thing I was missing was history. But guess what? Unfortunately, which is really a fortunately for me, unfortunately, my kid was stolen. And unfortunately, they wrecked it. And unfortunately, it was totaled out. And although I love my kid, man, when one door closes, a door, another door opens. So when the kid got totaled out, it also got paid off, which means I just created more history. I just paid off a $37,000 loan. And I made all my credit payments on time for the whole time I've been out of prison for the whole time I had it over a year. And I made my car payments on time for the whole time I had it. Now, if you turn your car in under a year, it ain't gonna look good. 
but my car, you know what I'm saying? I paid it off for 14 months. So I passed the deadline. So now the last time I looked at my credit, it was 798. It's probably 820 now. Or maybe 850. It don't matter. It's jumping up. It's going crazy. I did that. You know what I'm talking about? And to even make it more stronger, I mean, of course, I went and got a business account, Bank of America. Went and got a business account. You know, I applied for a loan with Bank of America. They didn't give it to me. But they said you can get the secured credit card, business credit card, secured, which means I'm, here go another thousand. But guess what? It's beautiful. I'm going to use it every day. And I'm going to pay for it every day on time. And every month on time. And now what does that do? That gives me two credit cards that are real credit cards, but they're secured credit cards. So any day now, they're going to be wanting to give me an unsecured credit card, which means I'm going to have my own credit. And it's probably going to be at least $5,000 worth of credit. Right now, I'm in a position to get a $50,000 loan. They beating down my door. I just filed my taxes. Square wanted to give me a loan. They said, all we need is your tax, your tax number. You know what I'm saying? But I had never filed taxes. I just got out of prison. Yeah, I've been having my, uh, my, uh, my uh, LLC for two years, but I had it a year in prison. I wasn't doing that, but I was doing a little something, something. I told you I came up with the sex sounds. I was doing like 4000 a month. I had the books going. You know, while I was in prison, I wrote 60 books, and I self-published uh, 34. You know what I mean? So I stayed trying to get this money. I didn't figure out this game. This is the new game. If you want this new game, man, stay tapping in with your boy GP. I teach you, bro. I teach you how to elevate. Y'all going to see me blow up. Seriously. You know what I'm talking? In the next 90 days, I'm probably going to have two, 300,000. You feel me? But guess what? I know what to do with it. That part. GP the Beast, man, I'm cutting no smut. You already know, man. I ain't playing, man. You know what I'm saying? I can't play with the game. You know what I mean? I can't play with this game because uh, I love it too much, and I'm a part of it, man. I've been a part of it, man. And uh, I'm going to stay smashing for my rations. You feel me? That part right there. I can't stop, won't stop. You already know how it go. Goon body, man. Goon body. And I put a tombstone on your body. I just smack two sheriffs who got in my way. Cause if you ain't got nobody, then you ain't nobody. If, if you ain't got nobody, you ain't nobody. Doom body embodiment, that's how I got him. Before you had a body, I had a body. He pulled up on my horse and I shot him. If you ain't got nobody, you ain't nobody. Doom body embodiment, that's how I got him. Before you had a body, I had a body. I pulled up on my horse and I shot him. You know what I'm talking about? GP the beast uncut no smut. You know what I'm saying? GP the country beast uncut no smut. Check out my music, man. Country beast. You know what I'm talking about? Personalized music. Shout it out, gang. Fill his pocket up with a little bit. Shit, up. Shit I had to recount it. I'm a, I'm a legend in the city. Missed shot and I'm a rebound it. Respect it on the block. Better ask the streets about it. Streets, Been locked nigga. up in the pier. Shit, I hate to think about it. I've been neglected a lot, shit, but I'm cool about yeah, nigga, it. I'm nigga cool. shot at me and miss, and that nigga made the news about it. Re recognizing my mistake, nigga, I ain't no fool about it. I got motion in these streets, and I can't move without it. Never. Mama gave me some game. I wasn't too keen about it. I rejected it a lot, but I was unforeseen now, about mama. it. No, no warning shots in the pen, shit, you better read about it. Catch your body in the pen and let they folks read about it. 